Food and sleep is two different things. Food provides the energy, but sleep provides the mainframe. For example, it's like having a computer. Even though you have a power outlet that provides plenty of electricity to run the computer, but if the wires in the computers or the motherboard is not working, then the computer is not going to work. So that's the same thing with food and sleep. Even though you have a lot of food, but if you're sleepy, then you go to sleep. That's right. So when a day goes by, your neuron, your nerve cell weakens over time. And eventually it gets to the point where it's just too weak to do any work and your body has to shut down. So that's why you go to sleep. You sleep to regenerate. And the weaker your neurons, the more sleepy you get. And then eventually you end up going to sleep. Let's take a look at our axon. We're going to take a look at a portion of the axon. So here we see an action potential in action that goes down an axon. So sodium rushes in creates a gradient on the membrane. And then potassium rushes out. And then it goes and travels down the axon. And now we're going to look at a portion of the portion of the axon. So now back to our graph. We start at the resting potential where sodiums are all on the outside and potassium are all inside the cell. Then a small amount of sodium rushes in when the gated channel for sodium only opens. And that's depolarization. That's number two. Number one, the resting potential occurs at a negative 70 millivolt. Then sodium starts to slowly rush in. And then at number three, sodium rushes in in a large quantity amount creating the capability of an action potential. So now all the sodiums are on the inside and all the gated channel for sodium closes. Now we're going to go to potassium. So the gated channel for potassium is going to open and slowly potassium is going to start rushing out. That's number four. And then as potassium rush out faster and faster, number four is going to drop. Then we finally end up at number 5, called the refractory period. At this point, all the potassium is on the outside and all the sodium is on the inside. And all the gated channels are closed. So originally we have all the sodium on the outside and all the potassium on the inside. Sodium rushes in first, potassium rushes out next. To start the AP again, all the sodium just have to return to their original position and all the potassium return to their original position. So now all the gates are closed, we have to push them against the gradient. We're going to use what is called a sodium potassium pump. The sodium potassium pump is an active transport that uses ATP to push all the sodium back out and all the potassium back inside. Yes, we have lots and lots of neurons in our body. Why do you keep changing the color of your chat? Um, you spell potassium wrong. It needs two S. Yes, so there's plenty and many, many sodium potassium pump per axon. And there's many, many millions of neurons. So yes, there's lots and lots of potassium pump, sodium potassium pump. Yes, sodium potassium pump is an active transport type. Yep, lots of ATP. Yep, just jumping, raising your hand, thinking, or even anything you do uses a lot of ATP. Yep, raising your hand, as long as you're doing something, moving your finger, blinking, your heart beating, yeah, all those things require ATP. So let me ask you this, do you eat breakfast? Well, even if you eat breakfast, at least, do you have a fruit, at least? Okay, well, what does breakfast provide for us? 
okay, well, if you don't eat breakfast, for example, and you know breakfast provides energy and ATP, then in the morning, sometimes like when you go to school, do you feel a little bit sluggish, slow, lazy, bored, kind of like that? So do you see what I'm getting at? Yep, you got it. Now you know. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day because most of your activities, either play or work or whatever, it's mostly done in the morning. That's where there's plenty of light and that's where you're going to need the most amount of energy to get your work done. 